Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and today I'll be unboxing Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. In addition to unboxing, we'll be making some music, doing some animation, and creating some artwork. Let's go ahead and get started. So I managed to snag a complete in-the-box copy of Mario Paint. Let's check out how good a condition this is in real quick. Here's the card itself. I spent many hours playing this game as a kid. I'm super excited to have a complete in-the-box version. The card is in really nice shape. Definitely digging that. Cool. The mouse is not in that great of shape. It's super discolored, but luckily, I actually have another one of these in a lot better condition. So no big deal on the mouse being a little discolored. We're going to quickly get through this unboxing so we can get to some gameplay. But let's check out this mouse pad. So the mouse pad isn't super exciting, but it is cool. It has the Nintendo logo and it looks in really nice shape. There's not a bunch of scratches on it or anything. Looks like we have a bunch of pamphlets here. The first one is an ad for Nintendo Power. Definitely pretty cool seeing the old advertisements. Next up, we have some sort of poster, but it actually is just another ad for Nintendo Power. They really wanted you to buy Nintendo Power. I do really like the issue with the Super Mario Bros. 3 cover art. The Angry Sun looks super cool in that artwork. That is definitely awesome. The other side, disappointingly, is just more ads. A bunch of Super NES games they want you to buy. Next up, we have consumer information. Who cares? We'll just toss that aside. We have two manuals, one for Mario Paint and one for the Super NES mouse. The mouse pamphlet is super handy if you don't know how to use a mouse, which I imagine most people do know how to use it. But it does explain to plug it into socket number one, and it helps anyone that is a little confused on how to hook it up to their Super Nintendo. The actual game manual is in color and super helpful for someone new to the game. It describes how to use the different tools, and it gives you some ideas on things to do. It's definitely really helpful, but we've played the game before. We need to get to some gameplay. We need to get to some creation. All right, so to create this, we're gonna use the Mario Paint Player's Guide. Another cool thing in my collection here. It has different music you can make. It has hints and tips on the game. You can create things like Battletoads, Wizard of Oz, Spider-Man, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Mega Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all kinds of cool pixel art here that you can easily create in the stamp editor. The project we're going to work on is Link in the Fairy. This will show us how to make the different stamps for the background, as well as the stamps we'll need for the animation. The book lays out everything really nice and also gives you some helpful little tips here and there to help you with creation. Okay, the first thing I had to do here was make all the stamps. This is sped up about 50 times the actual speed. It took a long time to read all the little squares and make sure I got the colors right. Which, maybe I didn't, but I got them close enough to make it look pretty cool. Some of these are the net that Link is swinging trying to catch the fairy. A lot of these are the different positions of him facing forward, left, right, and also backwards. One cool thing is that they added shadows to all the feet stamps. So it actually gives the illusion that he has a little bit of a shadow. Another really cool thing about these stamps is the net itself. When you see it in animation, it does look like it's swinging, which is really cool. Here we're finishing up just the last few stamps. A quick note is I am using the Hyperkin Super NES mouse, which is an optical mouse instead of the one with the little ball, which made things a little bit smoother. It ran really good. I used the Retron 5 so that the graphics would look nice and sharp for you guys, but it does work on an actual Super Nintendo as well, which is super cool. All right, now we're on to the animation phase. We got the fairy, we got Link, we're putting all our stamps together and just trying to line it up so it looks about right. And you can also make the path in Mario Paint so it kind of looks like he's moving around trying to catch this fairy. It actually looks really cool and I think we got everything right. All right, next up we have the music creation phase. Sadly, there was no tutorial for a Zelda song in the player's guide. So instead, I snagged a different song from the book as I didn't want to figure out something by ear and take the time to do all that. So I ended up using a Super Mario song that I think you'll recognize once we get to the end of the creation. I thought this song actually went pretty well with the animation. Now, if you didn't recognize the song, that was the underwater theme from Super Mario World. 
but it is kind of a goofy little song and I thought it went pretty well with Link endlessly trying to catch that fairy. Now what you're seeing is me creating all the stamps we need to make the background for our animation. This is lots of brick walls as well as an entrance to a new area, a ceiling, a floor. This was probably the most time consuming part of this project. It took me over an hour to make all these stamps and then of course I had to place them all down and get everything to line up. It's definitely worth it as you'll see here in a moment as it looks super cool once it's all put together. I thought I'd start by putting the walls down first as well as the little entrance to the new area. Took a little bit of time to figure out which pieces went where and how I should use them, but I only used the book as a guide and kind of put my own little spin on it as well. Once we finished up the left wall, we just had to paint in the ground, put a chest down, put a couple pots down, and here is our final project. Take a listen. So as you can see, our project came together quite well. Even though this game is super old and a bit outdated, you can still do some really cool stuff with it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of Mario Paint as well as the gameplay and the creation I made. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button to let me know. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest videos from BTG. If you'd like to see some more Mario Paint videos, let me know in the comments below. On the screen now, I have a couple other videos from BTG you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.